So we're prepping for our trip. Here's our prelim of what we're bringing. It's all gonna fit in that bag. Some of it's carry-on, that's carry-on stuff and clothes I'll be wearing. So as part of the process for trying to make sure that we uh, make sure that we don't try not to forget anything when we're packing, I like to go through a hypothetical day. So we're going through a hypothetical day right now. So this isn't a travel day. I'm hoping that we have everything covered on a travel day over there because we should realize if, uh, you know, if we're missing something as we're leaving. What are you wearing overnight? Overnight I have a, I have a pair of pajama shorts and a tank top I'm wearing for pajamas. Okay. So I'll be wearing like a t-shirt and probably just a pair of underwear. Okay. All right. So wake up. Go to the bathroom. We have our. Do we have all our toiletries for? We're going to. You're gonna to want to brush your teeth. I have toothbrush, so have toothbrush deodorant. I don't think I have a toothbrush. I have toothbrush, deodorant, lotion. See, I don't think I have a toothbrush. See, See? good we're planning. Done. See, it's I good we did this. But I don't think I have a Super toothbrush. good we did this. There's Yoshi. There's Yoshi, the double life dog. Hi, Yosh. Don't worry, Grandma's gonna be here babysitting you. And I'll get dressed for the day. Yep. So for me, on a typical day on the boat, that would be, uh, let's assume we're going sailing. So I'm going to want my sun hat. I'm going to want my sunglasses. Did you order me a sun hat? I have not done it yet, but I can. Put on my sunglasses, my sun hat. I'll put on some sunscreen, which we have. I have like three things of it, two or three. I will put on a t-shirt. I have a t-shirt for... I think just about every day. I am going to pretty exclusively wear swim shorts. I have four pair of that. I think that'll be plenty. Um, I mean, I have wear... four swimsuits plus a bunch of tank tops, a couple sure t-shirts. So I'm not going to wear any underwear under mine because they're, all, they're, baby. All, well, they're all lined swim shorts. So there's <laughs> underwear doesn't make any I sense. I brought eight pairs of underwear. So, um, yeah. So if you need to shave, you have your shaving stuff. So I will need to shave because one of the things, if you even if yeah. you're just snorkeling, oh yeah, for me, suction, I have to shave my top lip. Oh wait, I have to shave my top lip every couple days, otherwise I can't snorkel. And I would imagine scuba is even worse. Anyway, stop distracting me. So, <laughs> uh, where was I? Talking about shaving. Oh, so I have to. So let's assume I have to shave. You're not wearing any underwear. I have. I'm not bringing any contact lenses or anything, so I have my glasses and I have my sunglasses. You're not going to pair a back bare plate. Well, the... that's probably not, that's not a bad idea, Tim. Because I think I might up. bring a backup of my regular. So, like, spare, so I don't even know where my spare glasses are. But they're all down in that drawer in the green cabinet. We have, like, a lot of pairs of glasses in there, and they're not all mine. Okay. So, that's not a bad idea. Um, hopefully, I won't lose my sunglasses. I have all the lanyards for the, for the glasses in okay. here. I have my deck shoes. Uh, I have my boat shoes. I, I hope to be barefoot most of the time, but I'll have these if I need them. I have my sailing gloves. I have my life preserver. So that's so. Say that's the morning. Lunch. Go for a swim. Already got the swim stuff. We have our towels for drying off after. I only have swimming. two towels, so we have to make so sure they get dry. And I have a wash right for me for washing my face. The, the towels are fine. I mean, that's that's gonna be fine. Not, we don't need to bring multiple towels. I have my swim cap to protect my beautiful hair. Then, um... That's the laundry. We make dinner, and, uh, let's say, or let's say we go out for, for dinner off the boat. Uh, then I can put on normal shorts. Like, I can put on some of my... Because I have... but I'm not so worried about the tops, but, like, I do have two pairs of zip-off shorts. Um, since I have, since I have, like, four pairs of shorts, I should be able to have a pair drying while i'm wearing a pair for the evening i have a couple of uh short sleeve shirts you go over t-shirts maybe i should bring another pair of shorts i and think I i'm gonna have... bring another pair of shorts because yeah. i only have like the two i have my gray ones and my tan ones that are like over you know or the ones i'm sleeping in which are yeah, kind of like ugly of shorts, right? otherwise they're all really tight i have one long pair of pants that i'll wear on the way there and on the way back those could be pressed into service they also zip up in the shorts um, I have my clear glasses for the evening. I have, I can wear my baseball hat if necessary. I have, uh, a, a, um, like a windsock. We both have a rain, rain jacket. jacket 
thing. Don't think we'll need those, but those will keep us warm down to, you know, it's way colder than it's going to get there. Um, I have an extra pair of shoes for off the boat excursions. I have just my sandals and those shoes. They can, my extra but like, shoes can be deck shoes as well. Actually, where did those go? But like, you, but like I said, I'm probably, like you are going to be barefoot most of the time. I probably am too. I think that is it. We're not going to go anywhere that requires any kind of formal dress. There's Stefan. There's the beach. There's Michael. That's the captain. And I do trust him even though he doesn't I think I do. I do. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're too kind. There's a beer. So our boat is out there. We had a good time trying to anchor today. We were not very good at anchoring, but we did it. Well, we didn't have a lot of room. We did it. We dragged our anchor. The important thing is that we made it. We That's made Cindy, like she's Captain's wife. There's oh, Stephen. Trunks. Yeah. There's um, Janelle. I'm That's Jason. Oh. There, our crew. So we are now at Shirley Heights. So we thought it would be a shortcut to come here, but we actually were walking for a mile, no, but it took over an hour. We didn't come the right way. We took the wrong, we took the wrong trail. We took That's a why. shortcut so we didn't have to pay to get in, and guess what? We still have to pay to get in. I do get a ten dollar discount, but they cheated us a ticket. But they don't check tickets once you're in here. And just so you know, this is not what I would call a vegan paradise. No vegan. They don't have it. They have tomatoes and lettuce. Anyway, we're drinking, and we made it a lot while alive. Also, we Michael has a heart condition over there. He thought he was gonna die. It was a treacherous trail. And actually, it was Michael and I who made the wrong decision on the trail. We turned the wrong way, so it's our fault. Anyway. We blame you. I am partially responsible for this, but you know what? Pillars on, in Nelson's dock in Antigua. Yeah, There's right. Janelle. Oh, She's not very right. happy with the yeah, way she looks right now. But I just want you to know right now, this is what I look like. Here's where we're here's where we're sitting. Uh, right uh, on uh, the bay. Oh, you don't. No. <laughs> what's this? What's this bay called? Freeman. Freeman Bay. Freeman Bay. Oh yeah, that sounds right. So we're at Freeman Bay, and it's a beautiful. This is called Pilars, or no Pillars. I'm sorry, I keep on doing the Spanish pronunciation, although there's two L's, so that would not be right. <laughs> and I think it's because of these pillars. Cindy and Michael are going to live on a boat as well, and they're going to be catamaran livers. So right now they're trying to test their catamaran knowledge. Jason is into sailing. I think that Janelle is a little less into the sailing experience. But she does like beaches, so there could be some sort of compromise there. Cindy is the one who can like swim across the channel and like has a lot of energy. She's very energetic. Yeah, she's really cool too. She is cool. She is cool. She works at St. Kate's. I do. Yes. How can you not be cool if you work at St. Kate's, or right? Or went to school there. No, she's not I mean, cool because of that. If she's... you went to school at St. Kate's, you're just as cool as if you work there. That's what I say. <laughs> Probably some, you know, traditional name for that. Like, 
there's I know there's some traditional name for when you cross the equator for the first time. There's some kind of ceremony that needs to happen. Not You're sure. We should have a ceremony because this was Jason's first time too. He didn't vomit though. He just got sick. Yeah. I didn't feel great, but I didn't. I I didn't get to the point where I thought I was gonna throw up. But I had to manage it. I had to come up and look at the horizon a couple of times. And I, I am feel taking the pills from this. I did bring Jamba Bean and I took one of those and then one of our boat mates. That helped out, yeah. What's that stuff called? I don't know. Bonnie. Bonnie or something like that. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm taking Bonnie. hers right now because it's supposed yeah. to make you not tired. Anyway, so and also we're having some food panic here because where we're at, we don't. The restaurants are booked. Well, we have a reservation for tomorrow. We have a reservation right? for tomorrow, but there was no reservations where we thought we were going to eat tonight or tomorrow. We don't know where we're eating tomorrow. I'm guessing it's at the pasta bar. No, I'm guessing it's at the hotel, don't you think? The hotel told me there was no reservations available well, today. Well, they, but they were just landed at the hotel. Maybe they sweet talked somebody. Okay, so maybe Michael and Jason sweet talked them. Maybe Cindy did. Um, either way, we have hotel reservations for tomorrow, but the food on the boat um, would last us two weeks. Would last us two weeks before on rafts, and we're not on vacation time, and we have a couple good eaters, me being one of them. But it's all pretty much vegan. We have deli meat. It's fine for me and Stetson. So I'm making a pasta salad. Hopefully they're getting Italian dressing for it. We're going to grill some cauliflower. Again, we need seasonings. We have no salt, pepper, or oil. So we're very dependent on them getting that. We should have got that the first day. Well, we just heard them on the radio. They, they're not dead yet. <laughs> we got potatoes. We're going to grill some potatoes and onions and garlic. And we have plenty of charcoal. We, we got plenty of charcoal. lots of charcoal. We have some strawberries in here, so we'll probably have some of those. We'll be fine. I panic about food. Stephen can live on air, so. All right. Bye. So it's Wednesday here on the boat. We are in Nantouch Bay. Everyone else is gone snorkeling somewhere. Stephen and I are hanging out on the boat. I'm in our cabin, just chillaxing. Um, got sick yesterday, not sailing today, we're just hanging out in one spot, we might move to another bay, or we're going to uh, a place close to where we're having dinner tonight, that has an infinity pool, um, this is like day three, no showering, I did go snorkeling yesterday after we settled in, and you can see the purple's coming out. I'm looking fab. Um, we're just chillaxing now, so. Yeah, baby. It's hard knock life. So, this is a game called Spoons that they're playing, and I suck at it remarkably. I'm already out, that's why I'm not in the game. I lost. These guys are easily getting screwed. <laughs> This is called Deep Bay that we're in tonight, today? This is Deep Bay. Deep Bay? Yeah, 
Yeah. We went and saw, we went out snorkeling and we saw a shipwreck, which is, you can kind of see out there. I don't know if I can zoom in that far. There's like a little, I don't know, I can't find it. There's like a little peak out there of the shipwreck, but it was pretty freaking cool. And like I said, I finally bathed today. So I'm clean. Cleanish. So, I think we're hanging out here tonight. This was a good call. Yeah, very nice. Very good choice. We're smart. Nice snorkeling. We're so smart. Now I've seen a shipwreck. Yes. So Sophie's going to be jealous. Does she snorkel? No, but she loves she loves Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean movies, so... out here on the beach on chairs catching some rays actually kind of trying not to catch rays but Stefan is jealous of himself because we arrived by sailboat and we didn't get over to the beach and if I'd have seen somebody else do that well we had arrived by car and staying at the resort I'd be like I want to be doing that I want to bring our sailboat up and anchor it and then bring you over to the beach and that's what we do. Life goals. Are. <laughs>